Well, how y'all doing, mm. Derby Jack here? Listen, I had a, had a pretty good day. I, we didn't work all day. It was real slow because of the holiday. Um, you know the sham called Memorial Day? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Anyway, because we all know we're all part of the New World Order, right? You, you all know that, right? So don't you think eventually these holidays are going to go away? They, they represent an, an America that used to be. They really don't represent the America that's part of the New World Order. Just thought you needed to think about that. Um, need prayer is still going blind over here. And um, it doesn't seem to be getting any better. I'm finding myself having to really look out of this eye, which is straining it, especially when I drive. I got to stay focused because it, it's weird. Anyway, you know, this morning I was on um, Odyssey and uh, I came across a video, and I don't know if you all even know about this or are you keeping up with uh, what's going on over there uh, with, with their with their meeting that they're having all the big wigs swab and and little mini me of his little e alter ego idiot you know the guy that says that we're all humans are wasteful you know we're, we're just useless anyway the guy who is the head of the um, Pfizer okay the CEO of Pfizer the mother actually said these words. I'm going to say it word verbatim. Okay? You can find it. I'll probably have to find the link and put it underneath. But anyway, let's see if you can get to Odyssey. But basically, what it was was that he said back in the 19, in, in, in 2016, uh, or 2019, I believe it was, that they were already working on depopulation. And they said they think they've done a good job and that um, now at 20, by 2023, they do believe that right now they will have up to 50% of a depopulation of the world. Now, after he said that, all the mongrels in the, in the audience, thousands of business and CEOs and all other types of people of the new world order, <laughs> clapping clapping because population control has gone they, they, they have a cop by it and it has already gone down 50 percent well here's the thing and I keep getting kicked off and other people get keep, keep, keep getting kicked off because we keep talking about these and how dangerous they are well what did he mean and he never explained exactly how they have been able to get the population down 50% so far. We all know, us uh, people whose eyes are open, even blind, but whose eyes are open, who see the truth, we know what, why, and how 50% of the population has fallen. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you, the time it would it fell in the last two probably two and a half years okay put one and one together one and one together population control downsizing humanity this is what those mongrels in Switzerland are talking about how to control the human race by way of, yeah, there's your catalyst, the catalyst for depopulation. And for all you little monkeys whose eyes are closed, who, who don't hear truth, don't want to see it, want to live your little pitiful lives and get back to it. you will be depopulated. You'll be part of the depopulation. I will too, eventually. But you know what? I know it's coming. Many out there don't. And when it happens, they're gonna be very surprised. Rudely awakened. They ain't awake now, they will be. 
So, as you all know, I'm kicked off my major channel, so I only got 11 of you here. I need to spread the word that I'm going to be on this channel for about two weeks. And I still have the music channel. But, um, yeah, they don't, they don't like this type of truth coming out. But it's coming. I think it was something I said uh, uh, about Susan, the witch of YouTube. You didn't like what I said, you little pansy-ass bitch? I had to say that. You deserve it. She's over there, too. I always told you all we need to do is get a belly buster and, you know, we could take the whole lot out. New World Order canceled. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? But it's only a dream that will never come true. You all know that if you're a Christian, you want God's will to be done. You, you, you want the end times to come. You, you may want to be beheaded eventually. Because the sooner we leave this flesh and we leave all this garbage behind, garbage everywhere, when we leave it all behind, we don't have to worry about it. We're just robed, man. We're, we're going to heaven. And, and this ain't going to mean anything anymore. We, we're more likely for all you Christians to think you're going to receive mommy and daddy and, and, and grandpa and grandpa. You may not have to be able to be able to remember this world. Because and everything that comes with it, the good and the bad, no, because that would be a memory that would go up to heaven. I don't think it's going to happen that way. I could be wrong, but I just think that no sin whatsoever will enter the gates of heaven. Why would you want to hold on to negative, even positive feelings and emotions and memories of this world, which always have either one or the other? I wouldn't. I don't want to remember this world. When I'm out of here, I don't want to remember anything. I don't want to even know I existed here. I want this to be, I don't want it to be a memory. I don't want it to even be a black spot, a black blotch or whatever. I don't even want to know that I was here. I want an amnesia that made me realize that all I, all I know is God and his glory, God and his majesty, and worshiping him and, and, and praising him. That's all I want to know. I don't want to know all the things that I know here now. That's a blessing. To not want that. And if you don't, if you want that, I, I see that's what I'm saying. There's a confusion here. You can't take any memories of sin of this life with you. Because it's all part of this nature of sin. And in when you get into heaven, you will be, you will, your soul will be no longer contaminated with the world. But, like I said, you need to wake up. They want depopulation, okay? And they're getting it. By one way or the other. Whether it's through monkey pox, this pox, whatever, virus, I don't care. But the mongrels know what they're doing when it comes to this. Mongrels don't give two craps. And they want depopulation. Like I said, they're, divide, they're, they're already over there, and they're having a meeting of their life. I mean, these, these mongrels are, are, are I, get, I guarantee you, they're orgasming them all over each other. That's how sick and perverted these mongrels are. From Charles Schwab, uh, Gates, um, uh, all the people at Car Dent Car. I told you about them. They didn't like that, that people left and exposed, trying to expose the car dent car for the lies and the narratives of the hoo 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 pox thing, right? Well, anyway. Oh, y'all, I'm drinking a beer. I had, I'm having a beer today. What do you think about I haven't had a beer in I don't know how long. I'm drinking a beer today. I'm not going to get drunk. I just needed a beer. So, cheers. But anyway, I need you all to start paying attention. I mean, I would love for all of you to wake up. I'd love for the human population to wake up. Because if the human population were to wake up, these mongrels wouldn't be able to hide. They wouldn't be able to go anywhere. I would, we'd find them. 
we would uncover every stone where they hide. But unfortunately, mankind is too far gone. Um, most humanity are blinded. Um, there's only going to be a remnant. I've said this one time before in a video. There's only going to be a remnant of, uh, of people who are saved from this generation, from the, from the last generations, okay? Only a remnant. Not every Christian who says they're a Christian are going to heaven. And, 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 and that should really concern you if you say you're a Christian. You need to know whether the Holy Spirit's in you. You need to recognize truth from error. And you need to know who you belong to. And another thing, who do you love? What do you love? If you love this world and everything in it, what does the word say? The love of the Father is not in you. Okay? I don't love this world. I can't love God and love this world. It doesn't work. It's like vinegar and oil. You might be able to shake it up, but sooner or later it's going to divide itself. Right? What, the oil goes on the bottom and the vinegar goes on top, right? You can shake it all you want. Eventually, it's going to separate. And see, that's the difference. Sin and righteousness cannot go together. Okay? And if you're living for the world, you're living in sin. If you're living for the love of life in this world, you're living in sin. If you're living to, to establish yourself in this world, you're living in sin. It, it's a very simple concept. It's either righteousness or unrighteousness. There's nothing in between. You know, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do this because I have to explain something to you all. I'm really starting to feel sick. And it not not they're sick. I have problems. I have real ailments. Okay? CDC, I have real ailments. Ailments that 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 came to me through the world, not through your crap, but I have real ailments. You know, I, I deal with cancer, stomach cancer. You know, and, and, and so anyway, so, I mean, real sicknesses and stuff. There's people out there who have real disease, real stuff out there. You know? you, boy, I like to grow up and be an asshole like that. Anyway, did you hear that? That was a car I was up to. Anyway, um, yeah, it, 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 I don't know what more to say. I, I think I said everything I could say for right now. Um, I had a good worker today, a, a new, new, new lady who came in, and just like my other worker, she, she's an older woman who actually wants to work and actually is capable of working. Most of the mongrels that come into my store aren't capable of working. We're getting rid of one girl now because I had to go to work today because she wasn't able to come in. I mean, I understand people have problems, but it's like her kids were out of school, her car's broken down, she's got a headache, this and that, and she just started, and she ain't able to come to work. So we're letting her go. We got this new one. Her first day uh, did a very good job for me, you know? I'm a very good trainer. The only time I'm not, a tra the only time I'm not good at training is, is when I'm dealing with somebody who, has, who, is, who is born brain dead, uh, brain damage. Um, young, young kids just don't have any concept. That's because the witches and warlocks in most schools aren't teaching them anything. What did they learn for this last two years? How to live in fear and wear a tampon on their face. They don't learn anything. Then they, before that, old Gates, you know, that stupid mongrel, he, uh, he uh, common core, common core. One plus one equals eight. I mean, come on, man, you know. So the kids are the kids are brain damaged, you know. They will never be the same. I mean, they'll 
They'll be the type that won't, that will, you know, when anybody, oh yeah, no problem, here, go ahead. That's the type of people they'll be. They ain't gonna question it. Oh yeah, sure, you know. You go in the store, you need a, sure, go ahead, you know, I mean, that, that's how stupid they're gonna be, you know. Um, the future future generation won't, la won't, 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 won't worry about living in your house and not being able to go outside. They'll be on the metaverse, you know, having a good old time, you know, in the metaverse, you know, you know, they, they won't have to worry about diseases because they won't be around each other. And guess what, CDC, you might put yourself out of a job. You, you'll have a future generation to where they won't get diseases. Why? Because they won't be living around each other. They're, they're going to be, they're going to be separated, living in little cubicles. So you'll be out of a job. There won't be any need for disease control anymore. What do you think about that? Huh? What do you think, Fauci? You could probably finally retire, you stupid mongrel. But anyway, I've said my piece. And uh, y'all keep, keep investigating, keep watching what the Texas shit. Those marshals are, uh, there's something up. There's a government conspiracy going on here. There's a cover up. They want our guns. They might do this again. You might find another school shooting, okay? Very soon. I'm not hoping for it, but it may be because they want the guns. They want your gun. They want my gun. They want every gun. They want your pop gun. They, 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 they want your little, your, your, your little cap gun. You know? They'll even take your water pistol. Slingshot. Knife. Probably cut your arms off because you have fists. I'm getting silly, aren't I? But I I'm making a point. Mongrels in high places want power. The, 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 the thing of it is, is that what's sad, most of y'all out there are giving it to them. You're handing over the keys to your life to them. I would never hand over my life to anyone but the Lord and Savior, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, my God in heaven. He has my heart. He, he, he holds me. But the rest of y'all, if you want, you can go to Vouchy, you can go to CDC. Let them love you. You know how kind of love they give. Mm. Harsh. Anyway, Derby Jack out. See y'all on the other side.